What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Icy Ramasuki Yomi. Sorry that it's been like probably three days since I posted a video. Um, you know, we had Easter and everything, which by the way, happy Easter to anyone who uh you know celebrates that. But um we have been basically bamboozled with kind of like negative information. Well, not really information, but experiences. Basically, if you guys didn't see the last video, we got our EMS. But it doesn't seem to be really all that great, and um, I don't know why that is. We've been chilling in the Senju village. I unlocked a couple more things. Um, I really did just work at getting my Kirin, and uh, I think that that's going to be a really good jutsu for me to kind of get more powerful and be able to use because, you know, it, it's just that jutsu that kind of throws people off a bit. It's like, you know, someone's using Kirin, and you don't want to get hit by it, so you're always trying to, uh, you know, avoid it. But... If you guys want to join the server, the link is down in the description. It is $15 to join the paid access, but we do also have two free to play servers. If you guys don't care about being in lore and events and all those, you know, tuning exams and stuff like that and tournaments, um, we have free to play ones for you guys. But if you want to be in all that, check out the paid option and, uh, you know, we'll basically see you there. So I guess let me show you guys what Kirin looks like. Um, I don't really know how much damage this does, but this is basically how you use it. Basically, you know, it has a really cool sound effect, and then it makes it rain, and wherever you're aiming, it, uh, it's gonna call down a dragon. I wanna make sure that you guys see it hit, yeah. So it calls down a giant dragon and lightning, and everyone in the server can now hear that I use Kirin, and I think that it's also directional, so if somebody basically came towards this direction, they would be able to find me, but, uh, I think that the rain actually goes away, too, after you use this, but... Other than that, yeah, see, the rain does go away. But other than that, I don't think that I've really gotten anything new. I need to work on my Rasa and Shuriken. I need to work on getting better with EMS. And uh, we can basically kind of go from there. I mean, honestly, having EMS is nice because I can still, you know, do this. And uh, I can, you know, fly away if I really need to with a bunch of protection. But, you know, the thing about the EMS is, right... And I think that I can also, yeah, intangibility true. So if I am basically uh, intangible, nothing can uh, nothing can hit me if I'm intangible. So that is also really nice. And we do also have a Matarasu, which definitely comes in handy, especially since I can spam it. But other than that, we haven't really been able to figure out too, too much about, uh, you know, what this EMS is really meant for, why we were sent on this such long journey from Knight and Moto to get the EMS and you know what really power it holds because I do have obviously you guys just saw I have all the powers combined but to be honest with you I mean Wood Golem this Jutsu is just as good as Susano if not better to be honest with you other than you know I obviously can't fly um other than that it's not really all that special especially when I can also do this and um you know obviously go into tailed beast form and also basically spam oh whoops i guess i'm on a cooldown for my tailed beast bombs but wait what the heck i feel so much oh wait why am i so fast sometimes in tailed beast form but sometimes i'm not that's interesting maybe in open fields you're quick but going over blocks is just very slow but yeah i can basically use this tailed beast bomb and uh blast things away but that's pretty much what we're looking like right now for power wise guys uh if you guys have missed the past couple of uploads want to make sure you guys knew where we were at power scaling we still got wiped by the mist and they didn't even have any real strong people with them so i'm going to talk to civic he said that he had some uh, valuable information for me uh civic let's actually step outside here because there's some zombies beneath us um and you know they're they're kind of annoying but Let's, uh, what, what was that information that you said that you had for me? Um, did you say that it was pertaining to the EMS or did you, did you just kind of have like, you know, information on how to get stronger? Well, um, I was informed that you obtained the EMS, but, uh, I think, uh, you're looking at it a little differently than you should be. You're looking at it as it's supposed to be this massive power boost, but it's kind of just your first step to your almost limitless potential. Don't bound yourself to the EMS alone. There's much okay. room to grow. How would you how would you grow though? I mean, this is kind of like the ultimate weapon of the Uchiha and, and the Leaf Village as a whole. And this is why the Uchiha police force has like abandoned us and tried to unlock it themselves. I mean, I don't know about you, but uh, I've been pretty scared recently about, you know, getting attacked by um, Uchiha members with them trying to steal my eyes. Um, you know, people that left our village to try to get these eyes. 
I mean, you said the strongest within Leaf. Maybe we should start looking to other places for our strength. That's true. That is true. Um, do you have like any direction of where we should go? Um, I mean, you know, I know that we have to have that meeting with everybody, which uh, you do know about that, right? Yes, I was. Uh, I was filled in. Yeah, so we need to have that meeting with, um, you know, a list of people. I don't know. Let me let me see this list. Oh, that is not it. Wait, I thought I had a list of people that I was making. Yeah, so th this these are the people that I think have the same, uh, you know, life path as us. And this is um, this is a short list, but we have some pretty big names on here, as you'll see. We got Moto Knight, Civic, you obviously, Kato, me, small guy. Cray and Sticks. I know that you had, um, didn't you have some information on Small Guy a while ago? Or from Small Guy or something? Um, it's been a while since I've talked to him. I don't really know what his intentions are. You'd probably know more about him than I do at this point. Gotcha. So, what do you think that we should do to kind of, you know, start up this meeting and, you know, get to talking tonight, get to talking to Moto again, um, and kind of start pushing our, um, Start pushing our thoughts to other people. What do you think we should do first? Well, uh, that's actually good that you bring up Knight because I, uh, I have a letter from him. Oh, really? From Knight? Yes. Yep. Oh, God, the time has come. Does he know that I have my eyes, do you know? Uh, I'm pretty sure he's aware. Yeah, I mean, I would assume they are technically... Are these technically his eyes? Or are they technically my eyes because... I awaken mine to awaken these, but I couldn't do it without his. I don't know. I guess I mean, we're going to have to find that out. Aren't they? That's true. So he said, you've done it, haven't you? I've been watching you from a distance and I feel the new power from you. Okay, so he can he can still tell because they are technically both of our eyes, I think. Um, I've created a safe place for us to meet away from from prying eyes. Haha, <laughs> get it? Uh, where I can explain why I have abandoned the mist. Oh, yeah, abandoned the mist. And I found a new purpose in protecting and aiding you and only you. Bro, What? Your advisor, Cato, has been made aware of the location, and I eagerly await our meeting. It's almost time for you to learn the truth that I recently learned myself. I think you meant to say Civic instead of Cato there, because um, he gave the book to you, right? Yes. Okay, but this is interesting. So he says that he has abandoned the mist, which... I he kind of already did at the first in the first place, because he said that he couldn't, like, you know... He couldn't say being in the mist with, without his eyes and all that from the original book that he gave us his MS from. But you know this location that we're supposed to meet him at? Uh, yeah. Do you want to head there now or is there anything else you need to go over? Um, there's some damage numbers coming from over here. I think we got to be... Wait, wait, wait. We might, oh. be be we might be being watched. Oh, no, never mind. It's just skeletons. <laughs> never mind. I'm a little paranoid right now, if you can't tell. I've been pretty scared recently with getting this EMS. So where's this uh, Where's this location at? Uh, it's a little bit away from the waterfall village. The waterfall. Okay, interesting. Um, I guess I'll follow you there. I think, I think we went to the waterfall for something at one point, didn't we? Oh, yeah. When we were trying to do that scavenger hunt, we ended up there. Huh. Oh, you're right. There was... There was nothing really around that area. It's interesting that that's where he'd pick, but I guess let's head over there and see uh, see what this location's all about and why he wants us to meet there. All right, let's do it. All right, I see it should be uh, right up here. Okay, yeah, this is this is very close to the uh, the waterfall village, isn't the waterfall right over? Right over, yeah. No, wait, that's a stone. Interesting. Hmm. Wait, so the what? Is, uh, oh. Just up this mountain bit. Oh, is it? Yep, it's right down that uh, right down that stream right. Oh wait, yeah, that is a waterfall. We've been here. We've been literally right here before. How did we not notice this? Was this uh, not here originally? There's no way. Be no, it wasn't because I climbed up this hill. I literally climbed this hill. So what is this, and why? Why is it here? Uh, I don't know. Night shift just said you'd know when what to do when we got here. Wait a minute. Hold on. I I have an idea. Um, you don't have Calm Wee Eyes, do you? Uh, sorry. I see. I only have Amaterasu, so I don't have my uh EMS. Okay. So yeah. Um, just go ahead and grab on, and uh, I think I know what we're supposed to do here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go in tangibility, and we're just gonna go right through this ball. I don't. Yo. 
What is this place? What is what? Bro, someone's here. What the heck? I can see his eyes from here, Civic. Um, this has this is night shift, right? What the heck, dude? Wait, night. How do you? How do you have oh, eyes? What? How do you have eyes, night shift? That you're muted. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, he's he's just gonna type it. Oh, he said I've been dealing with your trader Uchiha. Oh, interesting. Okay, so yeah, um, I did get this. Hey, all right, listen. Hey, 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 hey. We don't have we don't have that much stress yet, night. I know, I know you gave me your eyes and everything, but uh, I don't um. I don't fully trust you 100% yet. I don't know what the meaning behind giving me these eyes was. Um, but why did you... Why did you give this book to Civic? Say that you wanted to, uh, you know, basically... If, if I'm reading this right, it says... Uh, Your new purpose is protecting and aiding you and only you. But weren't you and Moto, like, basically super, super close beforehand? And why wouldn't you... Why wouldn't you be trying to protect him anymore? I don't... I don't understand any of this. I have something you'll want to read, and then I will explain. Okay. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and read this, then. Which, by the way, um, do you, uh... The mother... Huh. Interesting. Do you have... No, that's just regular MS. So you have not achieved EMS yet. Which I'm guessing is because I technically have your eyes right now. But let me go ahead and read this. To my dear brother Knight, I hope the story finds you well uh, as I am out on a mission. I'm sorry I cannot tell you in person too much is at stake, but it is time you knew. So I'm guessing that this is from Moto. Uh, oh, where to begin? I guess you're, for starters, I'm your, I'm only your, wait, only your half brother. I thought that they were like actual brothers. Crazy, isn't it? We share the same mother. She's of the Senju clan. Okay, so that's why... That's why, that's why he's been trying to get so much wood stuff. Okay. I only get to meet her. I only got to meet her a few times. I guess that's a few more times than you ever did. I always hate the fact you never got to meet her when you were old enough to remember. Neither you or your twin brother ever had that chance. So wait a minute. Your twin brother. So is that going to be me? I suppose I should describe her to you. It would at least give you some sort of image of her. She had the most beautiful hair, jet black with highlights of blonde. Okay. It was the strangest combination you would ever have seen, but she made it work. I swear she is the only one that could, could have ever pulled it off. She had a soft but refined face, the definition of beauty. She always wore a smile. She was one of the most kind-hearted people in the world. This is crazy because this is probably, this, this has to be my mom too, because I remember, I remember originally, I'm supposedly brothers with Knight, which is also brothers with Moto, which makes me half brothers with Moto, but apparently I'm twin brothers with Knight. Well, at least until until that temper first came out, terrifying. It was rare to see, though. Um, it took a lot for that side of her to come out. She also had a minor problem with gambling. No wonder where we got it from. <laughs> Sadly, I have to end the story for now. Some Someone has stumbled into my scouting position. Stay safe and train hard, and remember, don't tread on us. Signed, your brother, Moto. So... Night, is this, does this mean that I, am I your twin brother? Oh, there's another book. Um, hold on. I'm out of, I'm out of room. Get this quest book out of here. Um, dang, you, you kind of, kind of quiet guy, huh, Knight? Um, let's see. Sorry. I'm still a little upset. No, it, it makes sense. We meet at last. Interesting. Okay. Seeing your eyes verifies everything for me. You really, you really are my lost twin brother. Moto tried to hide. Wait, is this is this from? Oh yeah, this is from you. Okay, you really are my twin brother. Moto tried to hide. Now that we have that out of the way, welcome to my safe haven. It is yours to use as you need. It is the only place I have that not even Moto can reach. Okay. Now that we are reunited, I look forward to helping you achieve all of your goals and hope I get. The opportunity to get rid of the or wait to rid the Sukiyomi world of a few a few of those traitors missing along the way. Okay, I'll be waiting. I'll be awaiting the time when you need me so long, brother. Remember that a true brother's bond can never be shattered. Well, 
Night, I guess it's good to know that I, uh, I do actually have a twin brother and, you know, thank you again. Thank you again for these eyes, but I don't know if these eyes have anything beyond them. Do you know if, if I've really reached their, reached their max potential already? Or do you think that I can do even more? I mean, all I can really use is just the same abilities that everyone else can, just unlimitedly, which I know it was rumored that the Sharingan, the EMS was supposed to be even more than that, but it doesn't seem as if it is, at least to me. You have so much that I can teach you once I regain my full power. Okay, so yeah, wait. So, Knight, um, while you're here, uh, we were supposed to be calling a meeting eventually with... Um, let me grab this list of people again real quick. Well, actually, let me not tell you the whole list yet because I'm still I'm still learning if I can trust you or not. Um, I guess I... You know what? I am just going to go ahead and believe you. And I truly am your twin brother because it makes sense and it makes sense of how I got the EMS so fast. And it, it just all it all adds up a lot better than it would if I wasn't. But Moto, um are you saying that he is now your enemy? Is he is he not trustworthy to you anymore? He hid you from me our whole lives. That is true. But Knight, I think that Moto has much bigger plans in the future other than just hiding a brother from you. I think that there might have been a reason this whole time that things have been unfolding the way that they have. And I don't know about you, but it seems like some of the things that Moto has done have been just tests. And uh, he could have killed either of us at any time very easily, um, especially, you know, it makes sense. He is our older brother, I guess, so... Um, you know, coming from the same mother, but not the same father is very interesting, but we're going to have to dig this up and, you know, see if maybe, maybe if we can, uh, see what, see what Moto's up to. Um, Knight, I want you to, uh, since you're saying that you're here to serve me now, I guess in a way or protect me. Um, first of all, thank you for this awesome layer. This, this place is awesome. We're going to have to come up with a name for this place, but in the meantime, Knight, I need you to, uh, I need you to talk to Moto and see if he truly is this, um, more, more sophisticated person than I think that the world looks at him as and get back to me and tell me if you think that this meeting between a bunch of names that I have not given you yet would be worth it because he is, uh, kind of, you know, you and him were both on the more important side of this, but you, you joining forces with me already is, um, you know, that's a great thing. And uh, I'm sure that you can trust Civic here too. You, you basically communicated to me through him for a while. So, you know, I guess until then night, um, keep working at, uh, get some more eyes for the, from the UTI, I guess these traders from the leaf. All right. So he said, I will do so civic in the meantime, this place is, uh, this place is pretty cool, huh? It, uh, definitely something worth uh, checking out little dark little dark you know hidden in the waterfall i mean everyone i know that there was a lot of people that came near the waterfall and nobody found this i wonder how long this has been here for but dang this place is sick oh and he, he's literally gone um <laughs> dang, that was fast but dude this place is gonna be uh probably a good place for us to have that initial meeting with the uh, with a group of people that I told you about earlier, huh? This seat's kind of fancy, too. Yeah, it is. It is awesome. Uh, I guess I can go ahead and put out this Amaterasu now. Um, ooh, what if I set this stuff on fire? That's pretty cool. Wait a minute. I got to customize this uh, this, little, this little thing right here. Let me let me do this. Oh, that doesn't really look that good. Dang it. Oh, oh no. I'm, I'm messing up. There we go. We'll just do these two blocks. Those those two are still on fire. Let's do these ones too. Yeah, there we go. That's looking pretty cool. Um, are these full blocks on the top? They should be. Let me. I'll go ahead and keep those on fire for now. That looks good enough. Good enough, right? Uh, interesting choice. You know what? I think that. He might be right that this is kind of... What the? Oh, he's back. 
I, I think that Knight might be right that uh, this is only a Susie well brother. Hey man, this is, you know what we we made this we made this place looking looking good already. This is pretty uh pretty pretty uh pretty fire. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but but uh, we need to uh we need to see what else this EMS can do because if I really am you know twins with night shift and also half brothers with moto both of their eyes are even stronger than this one which means that i'm only cracking the surface you know what civic weren't there legends of uh of a deity which would be basically assumed to be the susano right that had weapons while it fought um I don't know. My I'm not very up to date with my Japanese uh, mythology, but um, I think I believe I know what you're talking about. Like it just doesn't make sense. Like if I put on this, wait, am I? Wait, what is happening when I hit my two jutsu? I think am I not this, going uh, into Susano? This place is protected against jutsu. I'm pretty sure because I can't do it either. Oh, interesting. Okay, so let's, I guess, get out of here. I want to test something because things just things just aren't making sense. If I go into my Susano, right, and I stage this fully up, things just don't, things just don't seem right. Like, this is so powerful and everything, but it feels like I'm missing something. You know what I mean? Like, I have no special abilities well in this. Like, yeah, sure, I can I can use a Matarasu, but even that is hard to aim. It seems like I should be able to manifest some blades or something or some type of weapon in this. Hold on, let me get out of this form again. Wait a minute. Let me think. What? Wait a minute. Every time I've activated this... Maybe my inventory has been full and I haven't been able to really harness the power that's behind this EMS. Maybe that is an issue. Maybe let's, you know what? Let's, let's test that out. Let's test that theory. If I make some room, am That'd I going to get, I hold on to him. huh? No, I got I'll it. I got it. Things. I got it. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. I don't know how many weapons I would be getting. So let's, let's make some room, but uh, let me also time set day so that we can see things. This is going to be interesting. Okay, so I didn't get any weapons from this one. Or this one. Or this one. Yes, yes, dude! Look at that! I got like a giant- This is kind of like my Totska Blade. But 250% attack damage? Um... Civic, let me uh... 92 damage? 186? Dude, do you have any protection on? Mm, nope. You broke my Gordon with two hits, so. 39? Yo, wait a minute. That took all of my, basically, power out of the Susano, but let me, let me save this up again. Dude, this is 93 damage? Is that, am I reading that right? Yeah, you might want to, you might want to chill out there, Ice. Dude. And I got something else. Kamui Shuriken. What does this do? Wait, where where are you? Oh, I'm holding two uh -huh. of them. Wait, oh, I'm stuck in this water weird. Oh, wait, I can fly. What am I doing? Um, where do you go? Oh, there you are. What happens if I... Oh! You gotta aim up a little bit. Yo! Okay, yeah, I'm missing with this, but dude, what is this gonna do? Is this just gonna send you to the Kamui dimension? Did that hit you? No. Hold on. Come uh, come over here. There should be an open field more over here. This is... Dude, these new weapons. I knew that I wasn't using the Susano to the full potential. I just knew it. Hold on. Maybe me finding out... Yeah. What the heck? This thing... Oh. Uh, Civic, did you actually die? Or did you just um get sent to the Kamui dimension? Yeah, good thing you attacked my shadow clone. I was ready for that one, Icy. I, uh... <laughs> so you died? Yeah, kind of. Oh my gosh, that is nuts, dude. This is crazy. The amount of damage that this does is nuts. Wait, I wonder if there's a right click with this. 
Oh, that's Yo, nice. wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, there's a cooldown on it. I wonder if I can charge that up. This is sick, dude. I wish I could keep those weapons even when, when I'm not in, uh, in Susano form. Do you know if the more you use Susano, if the more it, uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Does that do damage when it hits you or does it just set you on fire? Uh, I have Amaterasu eyes that, uh, negates these. Oh, take those off real quick. I want to see if it damages you Well, uh, when I just hit you with it. Oh yeah, 16 damage. Hold on, let's see if I charge that up a bit more. If that'll do it. Wow, using Susano really drains your chakra. I can't even imagine using this without, um, without having EMS. So if I hit you with this, now 14 damage. So yeah, that doesn't really do that much damage, but, uh, this... It's kind of hard to hit. I wonder, can I spam those? Hold on, if I go back into Susano, can I? No, you do have to hold it down. You don't have to hold it down completely, though. So I could... Oh, yeah, there we go. So I can't actually spam these. Oh, my God. Dude, and I don't even need Chakra for it. Yo. Okay, so now I can't reactivate my Susano, but... um, Yeah, I got, I got a pretty decent power buff, don't you say? I think so. This... This is a lot different. This changes things. Me knowing this now, I don't think if I knew this when I went to attack the mist, things might have definitely been different. All I would have had to do was hit people with my what, what was that thing called? It's not the Totska blade. Um, do you by chance have a chakra pill on you? I do. I have one. There you go. I wonder what that thing was called. Was it just a Madarasu blade or something? Which, by the way, you don't get that when you go into full Susano, do you? Uh, find out. Oh, I do. Oh, you, you do? But I don't Wait get the minute. shuriken. You don't get the shuriken, though. Okay. So, which is debatably, obviously, the better. Oh, my. 900 damage, dude. Oh, my God. This would. Uh, how much damage is this going to do? No. It one shots everything. Dude, I can I can see why now the Uchiha need this eye. Dude, this is this is crazy. And then I can oh my god, dude, I can get you on fire with that too. And then just spam the Kamui shurikens. I mean, it does really drain a lot of chakras. So honestly, the best way to do this. Um, can I have another chakra pill actually? Uh yeah. yeah I'll give you a golden one this time. All right. I think that, um, yeah, there we go. It gave me 16. <laughs> Let me go ahead and eat this. I wonder if I use like a jutsu to slow you down a little bit more, how hard these Kamui shurikens would be to hit. So let me see. Does this, uh, does this slow you down when I hit you? Um, yeah, I have paralysis three. Okay. So now let me go into, uh, my full Susano. You have paralysis three, you said? Not anymore. Oh, oh uh, well, teleport back to me. Come we back to me. <laughs> so now I hit you with that, right? Try to try to avoid these. It is. I mean, it is pretty difficult to hit. I'm not even going to lie to you. It is pretty difficult. And if I what, what if I use laser circus while throwing these though? So, oh, oh, no laser circus hits me. OK, so, yeah, these are a bit harder to hit. But do you have wood? No. Go into your Susano again? Oh, I'm out of chakra. Give me one sec. Okay. Dang, dude, the Susano does not last long at all. I wish that the Susano lasted longer. It's kind of uh, a big downside of the Susano. Like, I would almost rather use. Dang, dude, this 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 sword, this Kagatsushi sword, I knew it was called something. This thing shreds, but what if I just. Wow. Yeah, um, it just it just one shots, dude. It literally yeah. just one shots things. So that could be it's definitely useful against big targets, but I'd say, you know, taking out a small target like you, I don't know if using that would really be, you know, all that useful or not. Oh yeah, no, see now if I if you were that big, it'd be kind of hard to miss. Yeah. So that's interesting. This is definitely a huge step forward though. In my, like, honestly, I'm a lot more confident knowing that now about the Susano. The only downside is 
it does drain a lot of chakra and uh we don't really have that much chakra i wish that we could get more than what the max is but kind of makes sense of why you wouldn't be able to spam a one-hit jutsu like that you know but guys, uh, we learned quite a bit in this episode. Knight being my twin brother, honestly, you know, he helped me get EMS. It's only fair if I help him get EMS. If, it's, if, the, if all this is true, and if he reports back to me with truthful information about Moto, things might be going good for us. We also have this hideout now. I'd say that this group that we were talking about is truthfully forming. I mean, I've been kind of scared to even go to the leaf, um, you know, with how things have been with me getting my EMS and people leaving. And um, how's the Sonny been? What have they been up to? Um, I think it's. Well, Verse has uh, acquired the seven tails. Oh, really? Yeah, he traded uh, Griffin for his tailed beast. So Griffin has the one. OK, OK, so that's Sonny awesome. That's the Jinchuriki. But, Gosh, um, so that that's good to know at least. I think Gypsy might be a traitor. You think so? He he hasn't been in the village. I think he's gone rogue. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna definitely have to keep an eye on him, especially since he has the nine tails. I mean, if it comes down to it, um, we might have to do something about that. But until we hear back from Knight. Um, and I get to talk to Kato again and, you know, me and Civic need to have some discussions too. Um, we're going to hold off on calling this meeting until I hear back from Knight. And then if we, if we like what we hear about Moto, we'll invite him. If not, we're going to have to hold off on inviting Moto to the meeting and, um, kind of keep our secrets to ourselves and maybe our paths would cross again someday, but Till then, guys, um, drop a like, subscribe to see more, and I hope to see you guys in the server. See you guys in the next one. Peace.